In this video, you're going to learn how to create toolpaths for the chest pond so that you can run it on the Haas CNC lathe. So first step after you get your step file imported into Fusion 360 is you're going to make sure you're in the manufacturing tab. You're going to go under here to setup, new setup. Then make sure that under operation type, you're under turning or mill turn. You want to make sure that your Z axis is flipped the other way. So I'm going to go over here to flip Z axis. So you always want your Z pointing away from where the chuck is going to be. So in this scenario, we have the chuck on the left hand side here, and then the ball into the pond is going to be facing away from that. Next, we're going to go over to the stock tab. Make sure you have fixed size cylinder selected. Stock diameter needs to be one inch, and length needs to be 2.5 inches. For your model position, you want to go offset from front and then change your offset to 0 0.01. Now you can hit OK. The next step after we have our setup created is we need to turn this front face. So you're going to go turning, turning face, go ahead and select the tool. If you go into your Sim Tools library, you're going to have four different turning tools. We want to select tool number three here, which is the VNMG. Go ahead and select that. Make sure your coolant is set to flood. Make sure your surface speed is 800 feet a minute. To change your spindle speed to 3000. And then make sure these bottom three at 0 .008. And that is your cutting feed rate. Next, after that, we're going to go to this fourth tab. We're going to turn on stock to leave. And we want to leave 4000, 0 .004. Last for the face, we want to go to the fifth tab turn off lead in and lead out and go ahead and hit OK. So after you have your face created next we want to do a roughing pass so you're going to go turning turning profile roughing you're going to select your tool make sure it's tool number three still go ahead and make sure flood coolant is on make sure your surface speed is 800 feet a minute change your spindle speed to 3000 and make sure your cutting feed rate is 0 0.008 Next, we're going to go to the fourth tab. Make sure your maximum depth of cut is set at 0 .005. And then make sure you have stock to leave on, and it's set at 0 .004 in both boxes. Now you can hit OK for that tool path. Now that we have a roughing pass created, we want to create a finish pass to finish cleaning up this profile. So we're going to go turning, turning profile finishing. Make sure you've got the same tool selected. Flood coolant needs to be on. 800 feet per minute. Change your spindle feed rate to 3000. And make sure your cutting feed rate is 0 .008 for all three boxes. Next, go to the fourth tab. Make sure stock to leave is off. And make sure lead in and lead out is off in the fifth tab. Now hit OK. So now that we have our basic profile created, we want to cut this pawn off so that it's not attached to the raw stock. So for the last tool path, we're going to go turning, then we're going to go turning part, and we're going to select the tool, and instead of using tool number three, we want to use tool number five, which is going to be this part off tool, and it's just going to look like a straight blade. So go ahead and select that. Make sure coolant is disabled. Make sure your surface speed is 800 feet a minute. Make sure your cutting feed rate is 0 .002. And go ahead and change that, that spindle speed to 3000 again. Now we can go over to uh, geometry, the second tab. You want to make sure that the back is set to model back. So this greenish line should be on the very end of the chest pawn. Then we can go to the fourth tab. Make sure stock to leave is off. Go ahead and select this use pecking and change your pecking depth to 0 0.01 and your pecking retract to 0 0.01 as well. Next, go ahead and hit OK. So now that we have our tool paths finished, we're going to go ahead and simulate it to make sure it's going to do what we want before we actually run it on the machine. So make sure you have your whole setup selected. Go up to here to simulate. And then we'll slow it down a little bit so we can see what it's doing. 
So this first tool is going to come in. It's going to face the front of the stock just to clean that up so that's a clean face. And then it's going to back out and it's going to rough the profile next. So now the tool is backing out. It's going to come in and it's going to rough that profile of the pond. So everything looks good. We don't have any collisions. So after it finishes roughing, it's going to come in and it's going to do one finish pass right there. Now it's going to come in, part off the tool, and everything looks good. So now that we're done with that, we have, we're happy with our simulation, we're going to post-process this. So make sure you have your whole setup selected. You're going to go up to post-process. You're going to come to your post and you want to use Haas Turning. If you can't find it here, go to choose from library and then you can go to Fusion 360 library and you can search Haas and then just make sure you're doing this Haas turning and then when you select it just go ahead and select local here and then copy to my posts so now that we have Haas turning selected the next step we need to do is go to our configuration where it says got chip conveyor make sure that is unchecked use tail stock make sure that is unchecked and then under file name name it however you would like go ahead and hit chess pawn and then you can post to your flash drive so that's it now you can go out set up the machine and make sure you get your setup approved before running the chess pawn